Hi guys, Zach here. I just want to show you how we are going to draw the flat earth map and I'm also going to show you how you can help with or without skills. But you gotta know that I'm making this quick video because I really have no time to do everything alone and I really need your help. Okay, so let me start with CAD operators. So these are the information I'm gonna use in AutoCAD. Sorry for using a website, I wouldn't have used it if I had the altitude that I wanted. So I'm starting with this location, Egypt. I'm just gonna use Egypt's map as a reference, okay? Well, so the sun's altitude here is exactly 90 degrees. It is exactly above the lake in Egypt. So we should triangulate the sun from the same lake or from somewhere close, okay? And after we get the distance to the sun, we change the time from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. and we do the same thing again. We triangulate it. Maybe this time we will not be able to triangulate it from the same lake because the sun is traveling so fast. So we should choose different positions. And then we measure the speed as I showed you in the other video. That will tell us the distance between each city. Now we move to the west. Don't change the dates, change the hours only. And to make it easy and simple, don't change the minutes. Okay? Now we should find another sun's altitude, which must be 90 degrees in the same or different continent, but in the same day, of course. Let's say the next position is Casablanca in Morocco. We use the same method to triangulate the sun, but now we're gonna have a question. Where should we place Casablanca in the new map? So to know how to do that, we should use the time and the speed that we measured before. Okay, for example, if the speed of the sun is 1000 miles per hour and the time in Casablanca is 6 p.m., that means that the sun only moved 6 hours to the west. And that also means that the distance between the two positions of the sun should be 6000 miles. So of course, we are not gonna draw a 6000 miles line between these two positions. We will draw a circle with a radius of 6000 miles. So Casablanca can be anywhere on the left side of the circle. So to know where it is, we will have to do that from different positions and this is how we're gonna know how far the continents are. And here is another idea that I got from a friend, John Rouse. We're not sure if the sun is a disk or a sphere, but we are sure it's round. So the sunlight that is reflected on the earth must be round too, like circles. We can also use these circles to draw the map. So to draw these circles in AutoCAD, all we're gonna need is two points. So we look for a city in the east that has sunsets and the angle of the sun is zero degrees. And at the same time, we look for a city in the west where the sun's altitude is zero degrees also. Of course, in the west, they will have sunrise. Anyways, those are the two points we need to draw the first circle. Now, if we keep looking for the cities where the sun's altitude is zero degrees, we can put them all around the circle. I think we should not use the azimuth to locate them so as not to fall in the trap. So what we're gonna have to do is keep drawing circles. We're not gonna know the diameter of the first circle, but we will know it if we use the first method. This is a good idea. And if we use both ideas at the same time, we will do a better job. And the map will be ready in a few weeks or a few days, but we should work on it together, okay? If you can't do it, don't worry, I will do it myself, but you're gonna have to wait for a long time. I already got a few friends working on this right now, but we will be happy if y'all collaborate. If you don't know how to use AutoCAD, don't worry, you still can help. We are using websites to get the solar elevation angles because we don't have people everywhere to give us these angles. So what you can do to help is measure the angle of your city with the sextants. If you don't have it, you can build it. And if you can't, then you can use stick, okay? Go to the center of your city, place a stick on the ground, make sure it's 90 degrees on the ground, okay? Now measure the stick and the shadow, and don't forget to consider the time. Try to be very precise to get the right angle. Now, to calculate the angle, you have to do the math. So let's give a name to the stick. Let's name it O, object, okay? And the shadow, S and the angle A. So tangent A is object divided by shadow. So let's say the stick 
is 6 and the shadow is 4. So 6 divided by 4 is 1.5. So the angle is A arc tangent 1.5. Okay? So now you go to your calculator and type 1.5 and hit the button arc tangent or tangent minus 1. And you will get the angle in degrees, 56.3 degrees. And if you don't have a calculator, you can use this website. When you are done, you go to this website and compare the results and send it to me to this email. If everything is fine, we will just use the website, but if not, then we will have a good reason not to trust anything they give us. And at the same time, we will have a big proof that they lie about everything. Thanks for watching.